Elsewhere, guidelines to reopen the country are coming tomorrow. President Trump making that announcement earlier today. Karen Kafin now has the latest from Washington. The battle continues, but the data suggests that nationwide we have passed the peak on new cases. President Trump signaling America may be past the pandemic peak as he teases plans to reopen the country are coming on Thursday. We're going to be announcing uh, guidelines and we'll be talking about various states and it's very exciting. Despite the bending of the national curve, different spots are on different timelines. Los Angeles is seeing record deaths for a second straight day and is planning on banning concerts and sports until 2021. It's difficult to imagine us getting together in the thousands anytime soon. In New York, a new executive order for situations where people can't maintain social distancing. You must wear a mask uh, or cloth or an attractive bandana. Nearby Massachusetts passed more than 1,000 deaths on the same day they marked the seventh anniversary of the Boston Marathon bombing. Just like we're a stronger city uh, after the marathon in 2013, uh, we'll be a stronger city after the coronavirus in 2020. And as most of America lives with normal life on pause, outrage has taken over the streets of Lansing, Michigan, with conservative groups protesting the governor's stay home, stay safe executive order. This kind of activity will put more people at risk. And sadly, it could prolong the amount of time we have to be in this posture. In Washington, Karen Kafa, WATE6 on your side.